I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In the last session, I have discussed how does SCR operate with the help of SCR characteristics. So in this session, I'm going to discuss one of the most important topic, which is related to the operation of SCR, that is latching and holding current. What is the meaning of latching and holding current? So let's see the definition first. The latching current is nothing but the minimum amount of anode current which is required to turn on the SCR at fully on state. That is generally called as latching current. First of all, we know that the anode is positive with respect to cathode. Then uh, you will be applying the forward voltage. Then you are trying to increase the gate current. You are providing the gate current. Okay, so that means the VGK. We are providing the VGK. Therefore, there is a movement of gate current. So once you provide the gate current, what will happen? The charges which is stored in the depletion layer that is getting neutralized. Therefore, the device will be, uh, what I can say, it will become completely conductive. That means at this particular point, VBM means forward breakover voltage. At this immediately at this particular point, so the device, device will be starting. The device from this point, you can see dotted mark I mentioned here. Now, immediately if you provide the gate current, it will reach up to this particular state and the device will be continuously turning on. So this point generally we call it as a latching current, understood or not. Okay, when the device is completely turned on, that point is known as latching current. So this is the concept of latching current. Now we'll discuss about holding current. What is, what is the meaning of holding current? Okay, latching current is related to turn on process where the holding current is purely related to turn off process of SCR. Remember that SCR is a semi-controlled device only turning on the gate current can provide at only uh, in order to turn on the SCR we provide the gate current so it will turn on but if I remove the gate current it will not turn on. have you understood okay so in order to turn off SCR so we are talking about the holding current in order to turn off SCR what, what is the condition uh, you know the anode current look at this anode current is uh, like it is belong to y axis so what is what is the requirement is in order to turn off the SCR, okay, the anode current should be less than holding current. Okay, every uh, like devices, uh, the, the latching and holding current will be predefined in the data sheet you will be getting. So in order to turn off the SCR, the anode current should be below the holding current. Then only the device will be completely turned off. People will always think that if I remove the gate current, then the device will turn, uh, turn off. That concept is wrong it, because it's a semi-controlled device. Remember that. So to turn off the device, the thing is, uh, you need to reduce the uh, like uh, anode current below the holding current. So look at this. Till here the device is on. What you are supposed to do is reduce the anode current. I am means anode current. Try to reduce the anode current. So you keep on reducing the anode current. So when uh, it uh, like uh, this point is called a holding current. If it falls below the holding current, immediately you can see that the device will be under off state. Okay, the minimum current at which SCR remains or, or uh, SCR remains uh, off state. Okay, SCR remains off state is known as uh, holding current. Okay, holding current. Holding current is related to turn off process. Turn off process. So in the gate examination, we'll be getting so many questions related to this particular area because people are having so many confusion about latching current and holding current. Okay. Now, I will be asking one question to you. Which current is larger? Tell me either uh, gating, uh, latching current or holding current. So, you remember that uh, the concept is saying that the latching current, of course, the latching current will be always greater than holding current. This is another remarkable fact. So, please make a note of this. In this session, I uh, try to convince you what is the meaning of latching current and holding current with the help of characteristics. Okay, so you already understood that when the device will turn on and when the device will turn off. Ultimately, the SCR is a semi-controlled device. So these are my references. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any queries. I would like to address uh, through the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once uh, one more request, if you are watching our channel first time, kindly subscribe our channel. If the videos are useful, please share with your friends and colleagues. Happy learning. Have a great day.